Hello everyone, and welcome to the Tin Park Championship Part 2. Before we get started, I'm just going to apologise for the brightness of the last video. Uh, I think my recording settings in my Elgato had the brightness turned up for some reason. Um, but I've changed it in the Elgato, and I've edited this video, so it should look back to normal now. But anyway, we've got two races to try and win the Tim Park Championship. Five lights here in Canada, and we're off the line, starting in P13, which of course isn't ideal. We're going to look to go at the middle of these two cars, and we've absolutely sold them both. That's fantastic. Bit of contact, uh, and there was a bit of a car park there at uh, turn two. But uh, we've made it through, and we're in the points, P10. So it's a, it's a positive start. I don't think we've got any damage. Is damage even on in this lobby? I don't know, but uh, we have to look to solidify our place at the top. And uh, if we are to do that, we have to carve our way through the nine cars in front of us. And two of them were out there, so that's P8. Uh, and there's about four going into this corner. That was never going to end well for them all. And one spun out, and two of them got held up. So that's P5 now. And it's, well, it's P13 to P5, and we've only just finished Sector 2. It's absolutely fantastic. This guy has gone around my outside, though. And to be fair, oh, he's had me. He's done me uh, there, and I'm down into P6. But we're not going to give up that easily. We've got a massive straight here, so we're going to sit in the slipstream. He's gone defensive, so we're going to pull to the outside. Coming into the final chicane. Are we going to be able to do it around his outside? Well, we might have done had he not absolutely cheesed the corner. But there was someone in the Wall of Champions, so we do get P5 anyway. So, lap one over. P13 to P5. And, uh, well, I'm talking about cheesing corners. Did you see that? That wasn't a corner as far as I was concerned. But I have got a bit of a train behind me, which uh, isn't what you want to see. I I'd rather be moving forwards than uh, looking backwards. Uh, and for now, we are just going to try and concentrate on getting the guy in front of us. Although he has pulled away a bit. Someone's gone wide at the corner, which has held them up. And now they're at the head of this absolute train that's gone from P3 to... Blimey, look at the map. This train is absolutely huge. It's most of the field. They both go wide. And I am collected. I am collected. Other people are still being collected. But that is a disaster. That's P8. And I've lost a bit of my front wing. Uh... And now I've gone, what? Yeah, oh no. No, this is not what you want to see. When you're trying to... Oh, I've got very little front wing now. I would come in, but it's just not worth it with one lap to go. I don't think I'm going to gain back 20 seconds in just the one lap. So I'm just going to have to try and crawl through the final lap of this Canadian Grand Prix. But... uh it's, it's been a disastrous second lap. There's, there's, there's no other way to put it. It's been awful. It's been diabolical. There you go. There's two other ways of putting it. So it's P8. I highly doubt we're going to overtake anyone when we've got literally not a bit of front wing. Well, I say literally. There's a bit of front wing. There's not a lot of it, though. And look at this. Wow. I just can't turn. This car just won't turn. It's about as good as turning. About as good at turning as my Fiat Panda is. But there's been an incident and we have gained a place. So that's P7 and I'll take absolutely anything I can get right now. Um, oh my god. Driving an F1 car with no front wing is akin to driving a Rootmaster. It's not great. As we come round the final hairpin before the final chicane. Everything's a bit final on this lap. It is the final lap. Also, I've gone green in the middle section. I don't quite know how I've managed that with so little front wing. But SSX page 7 wins the race. I... Yeah, that's okay, given the circumstances. That pink car, VNT Rosenfist. I don't know how to say that. I gave it a go. Has he had me on the line? No, he had me on the line, but he had penalties. So it's still P7. And... That might just about keep me in the hunt. We'll have to see the points tally that we are given at the end of the race. Don't worry, I realised that last time I waited way too long when I could have just edited it. And I have edited this video. So uh, we're just going to go have a look at the uh, thing, the table. Now, there we go. So, yeah, we're in second on 31 points. 
We are no longer leading, but uh, we're not too... Well, we're still in with a chance. We're nine points behind, but we are still in with a chance. That is until we go to the lobby and 31 points magically becomes 35. So once again, I've gained four points out of nowhere. I don't know why this keeps happening. I don't know why luck keeps shining on me like this. But uh, I will take it. I, I will definitely take it. So 35 points it is. I can't quite read how many points the guy above me has. I don't know if he also got on uh, a boost in points. But the point is that we are in second place in the championship. We're still in with a chance as we leave the grid in Brazil. Get a podium finish. Finish above the guy ahead of me. And there's every chance we could become the Tim Pot Championship. Or the Tim Pot Champion, even. Again, can't get through a video without making a commentary error. And they can't get through the S's without making errors. So already we're up into P6 now because this guy's had us back. And some other guys going down our inside. I'm going to let him do it and then go for the cutback. We have executed that to absolute perfection. Although King Chicken is still going to hold it down our inside. This is not really an overtaking corner, but I've left him the room. And he's had me. And he's actually had me very well there. And if I want to become the champion, I cannot be doing that. There's a bit of contact on my rear end. Trying to leave a bit of space for ERL F1 Ben, the defending champion. Uh, who's not in with a whole lot. Someone has just tried to go down a gap that simply wasn't there. Uh, so that's not great driving on his part. But it's P8 as we come towards the end of the first lap. And I'm sorry, but P8 is not going to win me the Tin Pot Championship. I have two laps to really raise my game here. As we come towards the end of lap one, Optical G sets the initial fastest lap of the race, although we were all on the grid. ERL F1 Ben just decides I don't want to take that first couple of corners, so doesn't. I hope he has penalties for that because he really, really should do after that. But we are losing touch with the top seven. This is awful. I need a crash. There's, there's no other way to put it. In fact, I'm, a, I'm under pressure from Pinecone now. I could get worse. We need a crash, and we've had a crash. That's three cars out. We've had to go off track to avoid them, and I'm quite surprised I didn't get a penalty for that. Uh, but they were sideways, so it would have been harsh. It's P5, and that has put us right back in the hunt for the Tim Pot Championship with a lap and a half to go. Uh, we are still quite a way behind these guys, but they are battling, which means they will slow each other up, whereas we do have clean air right now. It's too wide going into the final real corner. Is there going to be an incident? No, nope, they've kept it clean, which is uh, unfortunate to say the least. Now the thing is, I have no idea where the guy who's above me in the standings is on track. I think it's Optimash Prime. I think. Um, I've, I've got no idea where he is on track. If he is like way behind me, if he isn't in the points, there's a good chance I could become the champion from where I am. But I really don't know. All I've got to do is keep it clean, drive as best I can, perhaps hope for another incident in the top four to really guarantee my place as the champion. But uh, this CRG Pinecone guy, he's at the fastest lap. He's clearly a quicker driver than I am, but Brazil isn't really the best for overtaking. So I've just got to be careful. I should, probably should go defensive sometimes, but no! All I've done there is get it wrong. He's going to have me, and there's very little I can do about it. That's P6 now, and that's just not what you want to see. And you're fighting for a championship. It's just not great. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get anyone. I really couldn't tell you. Although there's been a bit of an incident. Could I capitalize on this? No, not really. But it is three abreast on the final, final run up to the line. Could there be a late, late incident? Yes. Two of them have come together. It's P4. And that might be enough. I really don't know. I, d I don't know. I mean, I do know, because this is pre-recorded, but for suspense and commentary reasons, I don't know. Where's, where's my rival? He's out! My rival went out! Which means... Surely I'm the champion. Surely there's... Surely there's no way I'm not the champion. He DNF'd the guy above me. He must be fuming. This was his chance. 
and he DNF'd. I don't know whether it was his own fault or whether he got taken out, but either way, I highly doubt it'll be happy. I await the end of the race for confirmation on the championship standings. It's P4 on track. Is it going to be enough? We need to see the table. Get to the table. Get to the table. I don't give a shit about the podium. I'm not on it. Get to the table. Drum roll, please. Yes! By three points. And don't forget, in the races, I don't get the extra points. They actually don't include them. It's only in the lobby that that happens. So officially and fairly, I am the Tin Pot champion uh, Championship Champion. Oh, good lord. Yes. I await my fanfare from Into the Barrier. Actually, I'm planning on put putting this up on the same day, so it'll probably already be out. But yes! <laughs> wow. I'm actually much happier about this than I think Logic says that I should be. It's a bit of fun at the end of the day. A bit of content for Into the Barriers channel. But uh, as a big fan of his for many years, I wouldn't even have this channel if it wasn't for him. It just makes me so happy. And there it is. Drivers' Championship first. The Hobotron. The defending champion loses out, and I think he's in third, although the writing is quite pixelated on my preview screen. But who cares? Because that is me on top. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And I will have more content for you, hopefully, in the near future. From the official. Second series, Tin Pot Champion, to you guys. I say thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.